my name is Justin and I'm from the Datamail project. In this screencast I'm going to actually show you how to upgrade a Datamail 4 installation to a Datamail 5 installation. One of the things to understand about an upgrade of Datamail is it's a lot like just installing Datamail. So if you ever install Datamail using the Datamail installer, upgrading is very similar. So let's get to it. Uh, the first thing you have to do is download Datamail. Um, I'm at the Datamail support site and I'm just going to click on the download button and find the link to download Datamail. It's right here. So click that. And then uh, download the helper script called uncompress underscore data You can either uh, right click, save egg as, or uh, click it and then save it for me. Whichever you like. Great. Once that's done, you then have to uh, upload those two files into your CGI dashbin. So I'm going to do that using transmit. I'm going to go to my CGI dashbin, which is in my public HTML directory. And as you see, there's already a directory called data. And that is actually my version 4 version of data mail that's already installed. So right along that. I'm going to upload the two files I just downloaded. And this might take a couple seconds to fully upload. Great. Uh, once those two files are completely uploaded, you want to change the permissions of the uncompressed data.cdi file to 755. So we can execute those in the web browser. And then you also have to actually change the name of your data directory to something other than data or the um, uh, the helper script won't be able to run. Um, just an example, I'm going to not rename that directory and uh, visit the helper script in my web browser and I'm just going to show you what happens. I'll just say stop, data directory already exists. So if you get that um, error message, remember to rename that file. Okay, so I'm going to rename the directory to uh, just data and then a dash and then I usually um, uh, use the version of the data mail that was there just so I keep things organized. And this was data mail version 491. Great. I'm going to then retry to run the, the helper script. Looks in good. Cool. Once it's all run, you should see that huge uh, link that says install and configure data mail. Just click that. Cool. And the cool thing about uh, the, the installer script is it knows that I probably want an upgrade because it's found in already existing copy of Dynamo. Um, great, so once uh, make sure that upgrade is selected and this is the correct location of where you had your dot data files directory set. And this is correct for me. So I'm going to click continue. Once the screen is refreshed, um, you'll have the form to uh, fill out to upgrade data mail. The first option is the most important labeled upgrade options. There are two choices. One is to create a new config file and one is to use an already existing config file. Um, what's cool about using the already existing config file, this option right here is there's absolutely nothing to configure. So if you're upgrading from a small change in Dynamail, say you're upgrading from version 5.0.0 um, use this option because um, nothing major has changed with the program. But if uh, you have changed, if you're upgrading from a, a, a big difference in Dynamail, say Dynamail 5.0 to 5.1 or Dynamail 4 point anything to Dynamail 5, you want to use this option, create a new data config file. The, uh, the downside to this is then you have to reconfigure your Dynamail. Um, this isn't as hard as it looks, but we'll go through slowly and we'll uh, figure out. So the first thing it asks you is the data mail URL. Just like the installation, just make sure this looks correct. It does. Move on. Um, the second thing you have to do is set a data mail root password. Um, this is a really good opportunity to set a new root password, um, different from the one you had before. So I'm going to um, set a new root password. Great. Then you need to reconfigure the Datamail backend. Um, my last installation, I know I used a MySQL backend. Um, for this installation, I have to just put in, re-put in the data database, username, and password. Okay, so what do you do if you do not have this information? You didn't 
um, record it anywhere and back it up. Well, luckily, at the top of this form, there is a button that you can click, and if you do, it'll open up your current that dot config file. And this file will actually have all the things you need to move over. So if you scroll down and find the hash labeled SQL params, inside this is all the um, MySQL database information we need, um, including the database, the username, and the password. So all we have to do is copy and paste the, the information over. First thing I'll do is the database, and this is the name of my database. Move all the way back down, paste it in there, go back to my old config file, find the username, copy it. Back to the installer, paste it, and then we'll do the same for the password. Great, now that's all set. Now for my uh, previous installation of Dynamil, I also, I remember, I installed the balance handler, and that's not something that is done um, automatically. So I have to recheck the balance handler um, option, and then again, just like kind of like the, uh, the SQL database, I have to re-enter in the email address, mail server, username and password. And again, if I didn't uh, save this information somewhere else, I can look in my current .config file and move over the information. So, if you scroll down a little bit longer, find the hash labeled list setup include, and then find the key labeled admin email, and its value will be the balance handler email address. So again, I'll just copy that, and paste it in where it says balance handler email address. And do the same for the mail server. The mail server is going to be farther down, under the variable labeled plugin configs. Um, there should be an entry for the bounce handler, and then in that there should be an entry for the server. And it's right here. So I'm going to copy that and paste it where it says mail server. Go back to my config file and where it says username, I'm going to do copy the username, paste it in, and do the same for the password. That's just below. So it's the key labeled password, and there's the password. Great. Right there. I'm going to look over my form just to make sure everything looks good. Good to me, and just click the configure.ml button. And if all goes as well, which it did, um, it should have configure.ml for me. Now I just have to click that yellow button to get the installer out of the way, and I can uh, click the button to start working with .ml. And happily, uh, it looks like it upgraded my .ml. Um, there's one more thing I did, I remember doing um, in my old installation, and that's a, I had the CK editor installed. And in .ml, that means um, entering a new line in the .config file um, to point to the URL of where the CK editor can, can be found. Um, that's not something the installer can do, but you can do that manually. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the transmit. I'm going to go to my home directory. And I'm going to find the directory called .data files, right there. If you don't see um, uh, files or directories with a dot in the beginning of the file name, make sure you have hidden files uh, visible. Okay, so inside my data files directory, there's another directory called .configs. I'm gonna click that. And inside that, there should be um, at least two files. One called .dataconfig, which is our current .dataconfig file. And one called .dataconfig-backup-probably today's date. And that's the previous um, config file that Dynamail has uh, backed up for us. So what I can do is I can open up that file in my text editor and then, oh, here it is, find the line for my CK editor or any other custom changes I've made. Um, copy the changes, close that file, go to my current config file, open it up, um, make some room, uh, paste that in there, maybe label it saying, hey, make sure it's over. Um, and upgrade. Awesome. Save that, close the file, and there we go. Um, I now have the CK editor in my new version of Dynamail. So that's it. That's how you can upgrade your Dynamail version 4 to a Dynamail version 5. Um, 
reconfigure a plugin like the, the bounce handler and how to move over custom changes to your data config file from your old version of .ml to your new version. Um, thanks for watching. Please, if you have any questions, um, add it to the comments for the screencast. Or if you like, uh, start a new thread in the .ml support sites uh, forums. Thank you.